Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokendra Kumar and today we will discuss the function of nerve cell. We're going to discuss what is a nerve cell and I'm going to explain to you what are the different components of the nerve cell. I'm going to detail you about the soma, dendrites and exon. In this particular presentation, I'm also going to include the signaling pathway of the nerve cell, the electrochemical signaling pathway of the nerve cell. And in the end, I will explain to you what are the different types of neuron. I will classify neurons on the basis of their function. For example, I'm going to classify neurons uh, as sensory neurons, motor neurons and interneurons. So by the end of this presentation, you will understand what is a nerve cell, what are the different cellular components of the nerve cell, and what is uh, the classification of the nerve cell on the basis of their function. So please stay tuned till the end of the video so that you can understand the neuron or it is also known as the nerve cell. Before we move on to the presentation part, I have a quick request to make. If you are new to the channel, then please do subscribe to the channel. Your subscription makes a huge difference and motivates me to provide cost-free education to everyone around the world. So with that note, let's jump on to the presentation part. A nerve cell or a neuron is an electrically impulsive cell that interconnects with other cells via particular contacts called synapses. Now let's discuss what a neuron is. A typical neuron consists of a cell body which is called soma, dendrites and a single axon. Let me provide you a little more detail on these components. The soma is usually compact, the axon and dendrites are filaments that extrude from it. Dendrites typically branch profusely and extend a few hundred micrometers from the soma. The axon leaves the soma at a swelling called the axon hillock and travels as far as one meter in humans or more in other species. Alright, now let's discuss some of the important features of axons. At the tip of the axon's branches are axon terminals where the neurons can transmit a signal across the synapse to another cell. Here, I want to mention an important note that is, neurons may lack dendrites or have no axon. The term neurite is used to describe either a dendrite or an axon, particularly when the cell is undifferentiated. Next statement that I'm going to provide to you is regarding the basic function of neuron. Most neurons receive signals via the dendrites and soma and send out the signals down the axon. So you need to remember this particular point very, very carefully. At the majority of synapses, signals cross from the axon of a neuron to a dendrite of another. However, synapses can connect an axon to another axon or a dendrite to another dendrite. So that was the brief description of how cellular components, they perform their function of signal transmission. Now let's discuss about the signal process itself. The signal process is partially electrical and partially chemical. Neurons are electrically excitable due to the maintenance of voltage gradients across their membranes. Now if the voltage changes by a large enough amount over a short period, interval, the neuron generates an electrochemical pulse called an action potential. This action potential travels rapidly along the axon and activates synaptic connections as it reaches them. At this point, the neuron releases neurotransmitters. Alright, so that was a brief introduction of neurons and the process of their signaling transduction. Now, let's classify neurons on the basis of their functions. Neurons are normally classified into three different types based on their function. Sensory neurons, motor neurons and interneurons. 
the sensory neurons respond to stimuli such as touch, sound or light that affect the cells of the sensory organs and they send signals to the spinal cord or the brain. Motor neurons receive signals from the brain and spinal cord to control everything from muscle contraction to glandular output. Interneurons connect neurons to other neurons within the same region of the brain or spinal cord. A group of connected neurons is called a neural circuit. With this note, I conclude this presentation and I hope the video was helpful for you to understand the basics of nerve cell. If you like the video, please hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video where I'll bring new topics related to the nervous system. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, then please do subscribe to the channel and show your support. Your subscription makes a huge difference and motivates me to provide cost-free education to everyone around the world. Thank you and take care.